After the 2012 election, a January 2013 Gallup poll indicated that 60% of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents would support a national popular vote for the president. Fair Vote Director Richard Ritchie and member Andrea Levian use their own personal experience to bring up flaws with the current electoral college. Despite all the ways in which it can skew the desires of the people as it has in the past, their research clearly indicates that the people no longer support the current system. As seen by this chart, the states shaded in green had more money spent on them during the 2012 election. Although those are the swing states, one cannot help but wonder why the candidates gave up trying to win other states. British professors Johnson, Rossiter, and Patty, who have studied the Electoral College in depth, provide some insight on the issue, claiming that there is a better alternative to abolishing the Electoral College and implementing the popular vote. The three proposed the implementation of the Maine Nebraska system, which would keep the framework of the original Electoral College but award the bulk of a state's electoral vote to the candidate who wins the most congressional districts. Instead of a complete overhaul of the Electoral College, McHale suggests that smaller changes be implemented and the response from the public be the basis that determines if those changes are successful or if they are going in the wrong direction. The people of the United States no longer support the current Electoral College, as clearly shown by the results of a Gallup poll in which 60% of them stated they wouldn't mind a switch to the national popular vote. A clear wake-up call for policymakers that their constituents are displeased.
current electoral college system is flawed, and this is more evident now than ever before. Of the possible alternatives, the best and most realistic is the congressional district method, better known as the Maine Nebraska system. By implementing this, we are enhancing the power of each voter in creating a more democratic election.